We AD, love it. Hip hop. Oh. and Duno, and let me add, Gina Views. Wow. All leave the No Jumper Network. I know. So basically, the whole hood, <laughs> all the hood niggas, exactly. they all left. It's like we all the Crips. <laughs> Yo, it's like a bunch of runaway slaves. <laughs> Yo, chill, chill. Sorry, dog. Yo. Sorry, dog. Sorry, dog. Master left. Cut you off on the plantation. Whoa. <laughs> I had to say it, man. I'm sorry, man. You know I'm gonna say some wild shit sometimes. You know I'm gonna say some wild shit sometimes. I, uh, you're it's a saying Friday. that Grandmaster um, Adam is the slave master? Friends? I wouldn't even say slave master. I'll just say, you know, fuck, got the whip on there. <laughs> no contract, nothing. None of y'all got a contract. Well, hold on. AD and T-Rail didn't have contracts. Which was probably one of the, what, smartest things they could have done? Mm, for them, not for Adam. Not for Adam, no. He's kind of left holding the bag right now, like, fam. Like, I've been watching... The view yeah. counts on like um community clips and I forgot get the name um they're going up. <laughs> yeah, like some of the shit is at like four hundred thousand views. Yeah. I'm like, wow, Yo, half a million views. Fam, just him talking to uh Adam yesterday, A D mm-hmm. was at two hundred and twenty something in like a couple hours, bro. That's crazy. Couple hours, bro. You know what I'm saying? So <sighs> So that's, that's a bag. That's one, two, three, four people gone. A lot, One, two, yeah. Four people gone, it's half your starting line, and they were doing content all, all of them like actively, right? Yeah, now they re- he retains um Flacco. Um, oh, and also, this is on the heels of Lush getting fired, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He retains Flacco. There's a new guy that I don't know the name of this Mexican kid, and um, and suspect, yeah, but that's who's left, and I see him that the white youth um destiny popping up more and more but he's yeah. more like freelance yeah no he's probably gonna get he's gonna be there you think he's for, in oh for sure what do you think the content is going from now you know what i know where it's going it's on it's gonna go a little joe rogan ish you going to joe rogan land yeah and honestly can i be real bro once once they done with our culture that's what they do bro they, oh no they back out man they go somewhere else right so it's better that ad and them do their thing and and the rest of them do their thing because they're really about the culture. You know what I mean? Even Lush. Lush has a tendency to really talk about... I've watched a couple of his episodes. And he has the thing about talking about brown and, and blacks in LA. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Them coming together and stuff like that for the culture and stuff like that. So I really i am gearing over to his side of things too. Because I'm like, that's how you feel. That's how we feel. You know what I mean? Everybody right. should be together. It's not like you just use our culture and then... Once it doesn't give you the response you need, you just wrap it all up and throw it behind your back and, you know, spit at it, spit out, spit it out. And you know what I mean? And a lot of drama behind it. You know what I'm saying? It's very soap opera ish. -ish, You know what I'm saying? So I'm, well, I'm going to, you know, I know you, you you got a good relationship with them over there, you know, with, with With Adam Adam, and Adam. Adam, Adam. Right. And I don't think he would say anything to you about me. My, my, you know, I'm not not crucifying nobody. Yo, this is what podcasting we're given. Yo, they've given us the content to react to. So it's not like we're going to be like, yo fam, you did everything right. Like, no, no. If you fucked up a couple of moves, we can say it. Yeah. And I, I, yeah. But I will say something in, um, what you call it? In to agree with what you're saying as well, right? Okay. When it comes to white guys in the culture, like when it comes to like uh, rappers, podcasters, mm-hmm. and stuff like that, mm-hmm. they do have the default, like you mentioned, right? Yeah. So like you could be into the hip hop side of things, yeah, and run that shit red. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yep. However, if that doesn't work out, could always go. You know, he was in the BMX world before. He could jump into the BMX, which world. is still our world. Right. Let's be real. Yes, but it's and the been, it's, been dom- is, it's, yeah. it's been dominated by by white people for the most part, right? So he could still switch back to that. Okay. He can like like you said, go into the Joe Rogan more political world, and it, I don't know if we always have that option, right? Yeah, but I don't know what what can he do, fam. I'm not even mad at him, bro. Like you gotta, are, if you go to New York, Yonkers, New York, you go anywhere in the Bronx, anywhere in Long Island, BMX game is ours. Those little black kids are riding those things like it's motorcycles. Yeah. Then you go to LA, you'll see mostly black kids riding in those pools. They they have a documentary on who made that skateboard. Okay. Mm. This is our shit. I'm just gonna say that for instance. So once they're done with it, once they take it to a level 
of where they exploit it so much that they can't get anything else out of it. They wrap it up like in a piece of paper and they throw it behind their back. Mm. And I'm just being 100% honest. You do your own research on your own time and you go you go dig up where the, the skateboard came from and who created it, okay? So, and then you'll see like where, 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 where those guys are. I can see where a lot of people like me are kind of seeing it that way now. Like, okay, bro, we were, we were messing with you, but now it's like, why are your guys kind of like... Why are they jumping ship? Thank you. Yeah, but okay. As a no jumper, like I guess one of the more original fans, because yeah. I used to watch No Jumper before Me too. them mans, right? Were Me there. too. And there's a space of time where the most of the content was just Adam doing interviews. Interviews. Yes. Right? Um over time, yes, it has evolved. Yeah. And I like to see I liked for him seeing the evolution, right? Yes. It was great. But I ain't gonna lie. Mm. When I seen a thumbnail, and this is with all due respect, because you know when I'm in LA, I don't want no smoke from you niggas. Yeah, you know what's up. When I seen a thumbnail with like Duno interviewing somebody, I didn't click on it. Even sometimes T Rel yeah. click the most other person besides Adam that I'm clicking on the thumbnail to see um, them have a, a conversation with somebody. Okay, it's sharp. Yeah, sharp. the rest of the man's when I see them doing an interview one on one. Yeah, like even some of the guys who are still there, I'm not running to click on that interview yeah i just watched the whole two-hour conversation that adam had um with two women who were against the porn industry right yeah i watched i pretty much almost the whole thing yeah it was an, enga it's, it's an engaging conversation that adam had so like yeah. in the end of the day i guess my point is i think he's gonna be all right oh he's gonna be you know all what I'm right because he's cleaning house yeah also right and i don't think like even though they did bring a lot to the table yeah. and it was fun at the time like the the views that they were getting on their stuff didn't outweigh the amount of drama that came in. Came in, and they're getting the views now off of the drama. So it's really no one's really coming to your page for the content. Right. So now when the no jumper drama the the, the smoke clears. Yeah. Like okay, even right now, are you clicking on community clips and stuff like that more often than I before? I was clicking on them from way before because it's just like I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a West Coast gangster. Right. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna watch that shit. So you became a fan of their content. Even when they're not talking about no jumper, yeah, because now that they're not on no jumper anymore, now that AD doesn't go into the office, T Rail, none of those guys have the yeah. office to go into and yeah. then react to things that happen maybe on their show yeah. or somebody that they met on one of their interviews or whatever. Mm -hmm. What's gonna? What is their content gonna turn Just into? Fuck around and see Snoop Dogg there. I, I hope so. Like fuck around and see t see Tiger in there. Mm. Fuck around and see them them boys in there with twerking dancers and all that going off. What that's that's when about? AD has to start using like pulling his his, yeah, his industry that, cards. Like let me yeah, pull some yeah. favors. Like yeah, and do that. And he's yeah, gonna do that. And yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be down with that. And he's gonna have some of probably the best cannabis companies hollering at him. Cookies for sure. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying. And he already like, has his own shit too. Right? And he has his own shit. So it's gonna be. It, and he a West Coast dude, dog. Like, mm. it's you can't beat home team, dog. You can't beat the home team. Nothing's bigger than the program, dog. Yeah, but he also has, like, like we had the conversation before. Yeah. I only know about AD yeah. because of the whatever million subscriber platform that I was watching originally, which is No Jumper. <laughs> right? And I feel like a lot of people are the same. I, okay, I, I, so I'm, he even though you might, we all might like his content now moving forward. Even if they don't talk about no jumper, mm -hmm. he still has to know that no, no jumper is the one who put his ass on the mat. For sure, he knows that. He's more upset that um, Adam Twenty Two went by, went behind his back yeah, and talked yeah, to Lush and said he only likes four. He only has four jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. that's what he's teed off about. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. that that that's different. He because he's been with Adam the whole time. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. he also dropped that card on him. Like, hey, man, when the 100 mother effers were outside the, the studio ready to bang on your ass, who was out there doing the whoop de whoop with you? Yeah. You know what I mean? And then what, what, did, what did Adam play? He played that stupid card. I'm not going to lie. He played that stupid. Like, oh, why doesn't you? Have, why do you have to be? What? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it just he got, got Karen on him. Yeah. Yeah, you went into straight Karen mode, dog. I was like, dude, uh, Adam, dude, answer the damn. You ain't tell ready for you, that, bro. They, they tell him you sorry and like, you know what I mean? Like, you mm. didn't mean that. I mean, like, like the man is like hurt because he's like, dog, I've been with you riding. If you were going to make a business executive position decision, 
that's on you. But you got to come to me first. But I think he did. It's just that he shouldn't have told homie. And You're not supposed to tell up. a guy that hasn't been there longer than me. Yeah. Some, something that you feel about me. Nigga. Yeah. You best believe I'm going to call your Nigga phone. Nigga who just got like, there a got few there, months bro. ago. You're going to make me make that guy an example next time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get that lush. You're going to get you're going to. You you he's lucky he didn't get lush beat up by AD and his and his brother. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like he just come in there and say, "Hey, you want to be locked in, cuh? <laughs> <laughs> like you want to be locked in, cuh? All right, let's go, cuh. Let's squabble over here, cuh. We put you on. We're gonna put you on right now, cuh. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? And beat the flipping socks off him. Like, yeah. What else, right? But Yo, man, that's so a whole... much content on this shit, bro. Academics though. Talk to me. Talk to me. Okay, now he he is like the. <sighs> I like him because he came with the house. <laughs> he came with the house. The house and move. You know what I'm saying? Mm. He set this all up because how many times has he told Sharp, "You a bum, you a peon." Oh, he's on Sharp's because he's like head top. You right work now, for him. Bro. He's like you work for him. You work for him. And I fuck with Sharp, bro. I but do he's, too. he's making Sharp look crazy. Ah, but right? So now Sharp now needs to understand. Now, this is what happened. A couple times I've heard him academic speaking to other people at No Jumper, like Poetic Flaco. Mm. And, and he's like pretty much calling Adam the master to those guys. <laughs> now, imagine this. You got ad- academics blazing you on lives. Going like a hundred k in the yeah. right, and then your wifey's there. Like you work for that boy? I thought y'all had your own thing going on. What, yeah. bro? I'm going. I'm, Making that, you feel mad simple. Simple. He made these guys feel simple. He made them look like, yo, bro, you got this guy running the game off of your off of y'all music. Like you know, off you of know y'all what ta- it is, man's them don't like they can't like the pride shit fucks them up, bro. Because academics. Yeah, is runs the you an employee, Whew. you an employee, Whew. and it's like okay, Whew. what's wrong with that though? But he doesn't. He says nothing's wrong with that because when he work, when he does stuff for Spotify, he is an employee. Right. But what he is trying to tell them to admit is, does Adam pay you? And none of them want to say Adam pays me. So y'all working for free now? So, so they're like, what, 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 what? it becomes a. <laughs> he had, he had my boy Sharp looking crazy call today. Him sharpie, bro. Right, he call him a Sharpie, like the dog, fam. Not no Sharpie pen. You know what I'm saying? Like Sharpie the dog. Oh what? man, bro, get this. He's like, what do you? He go Sharp today goes. Oh, you want to be like me? He's like, you want to be like me? I was like. Academic this started today? laughing. What? Academic started laughing out of his out of his skin. Out of his skin. I was oh, like, Oh shit, one day ago. One day. See what I'm saying? Like that's it. That's all. Like now I'm just looking for the support. Like <coughs> heavy support, nigga. And I'ma just keep doing me. Me. My homie Smack. Shout out my nigga Smack. Mm-hmm. Hey, free shout, life, out free life, shout out free Con AD. AD, everybody. Nigga, what you talk about, cuz? Like Barbie. it's all good though, man. Hey, girl, Sharp, 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 Period. Ooh. Holy. You are the peons who probably got left oh. at the motherfucking mansion after everybody just escaped. I'm talking Holy to niggas who just got out of the plantation, nigga. Oh, niggas shit. who trying to build their own shit. what I say? You want to argue with me? You could have argued with me on any other day. I say? Yesterday, last night, I'm on every night. I love arguing. It's my thing. I've been trying to argue with you. I told you could have came to New Jersey. You say you want $40,000. You probably don't got $40,000 in your bank book, nigga. <laughs> Act, he don't do it. Backing him up. <laughs> Yo, Ak is a demon, eh? When he wants to get rude up basically, that the Jamaican comes out of him. I bad. don't even know if he's drinking Hennessy. He might be on the Ray and F's, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. mean, that might be Ray and F rage right there. <laughs> Yo. The Ray and F rant, bro. Right? Let the Jamaican come out of him, eh? Oh. Tell you off behind a screen, bro, and you man, feel it. Man, cuss you out. The man, pretty much. Yo, can I be real? Remember the movie Ghost Dad? 
with Bill Cosby? <laughs> I don't remember. Remember, but remember, I remember go, of he it. basically ghost dad Sharpie just now. He just came through the screen and choked the shit out of him <laughs> and then let him go and went back in his seat and said, Nigga, so I'm over here trying to talk to the niggas that got some shit going on. Nigga, you ain't gonna make no money off of me, nigga. I don't move for free. Nigga, nigga. I don't need no money. Yo, with, Sharp, nigga. you broke. I ain't never moved for free in my Yo, life. Yo, Sharp, nigga. Sharp, you're broke. <laughs> you're fucking broke, nigga. You know who you're talking to? Wow. The only, I mean, nigga who could, the only nigga who could match that. No, no, okay, you gotta stop. I don't like, I don't wanna hear, I don't wanna see no, Sharp in this. I, 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 I mess with Sharp heavy. So do I. I don't like Sharp. Yo. Don't stop. Ah, sharp gives him, gives, Sharp, Sharp gives me the ism. All right? He plays the ism down. Right now, I think. Yo, he, fam, what were we just watching? What was I watching when y'all came into the crib? <laughs> right? When y'all came to the studio, y'all sharp, didn't see sharp, sharp, um, sharp on the screen? Yeah, Sharp and um, what's his name from Miami there? Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. The nigga with the crown there. Mm. Bro, I'm so hurt, fam. Sharp, don't let him do it. Like, I, the thing is, I know academics, fam. Like, he, 360 Brown or something? Or what's, what's the name? Oh, whatever the, 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 that nigga whose name is. Oh, Mr. Oh, Mr. Brown, whatever. Yeah. But. Like, don't fall in <laughs> academics trap. Academics is a yellow tape specialist. Oh, bro. he lined you up. He'll line you up because he asked the man one question, and then after Sharp say, "Nigga, do we got some unfinished business to do?" <laughs> I said, "Oh." Because you know what happened? And he said, "Yo, you want to have a conversation with me? You gotta, you gotta pay me forty thousand to come up to New Jersey and talk yeah. to you." Yeah, and I was like, "This goes further. Why would I do that?" And then, like, they also had a conversation on his Twitch, right, or on his YouTube. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, "Okay, so I, I got the conversation. <laughs> what do I got to pay this nigga forty thousand for? Well, I, mission accomplished. I got to speak to you on a public I, platform. He, he wants to argue with you. He said he would love to argue with you and have an intellectual conversation. Yeah. But you, but he wants further. forty thousand for it to pull off. Oh, this goes further, eh? What this argument? Oh, this gets hotter, eh? This gets steamy, bro. <laughs> Yo, I you gotta, you bit. gotta, you gotta. Sharp, I wake up being you a failed pimp that's broke. Oh, nigga, I'm like, no time step. You are the like pot father. Pups, nigga, nigga, <laughs> I wake <laughs> up like <laughs> you, nigga. I wake <laughs> up like you with nothing but a pimp resume, a failed <laughs> pimp resume. Not a pimp, nigga. You don't know nothing about this. Money. Nigga said, I want to be him. Yes, you do. Holy, holy. Look at him. He wants to ghost dad sharp through the flipping screen. He just ghost wow. him. He's gonna ghost dad him, bro. He's gonna ghost dad him. He's gonna ghost dad him. <sighs> he is crazy. about to ghost dad him. Ghost dad Demix, bro. Holy, he reaching through screens and strangling niggas right now. Like That's crazy. Well, listen, man, we'll keep y'all uh, posted on oh, what's going on with my no jumper. Gosh. Because I'm sure there's going to be more to come from this. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yes. Um, we love hip hop. Hip -hop, hip -hop, hip -hop.